Hey guys, so this is the Logitech G3014. This is the cheapest wireless mouse ni Logitech. Because uh, currently, I'm going to get G1020 cheapest. Nila. Uh, so, I'm going to get it. So, I'm not, I'm not typically reviewing this uh, kind of stuff uh, about computers and anything. But I recently bought this one. Um, it's an Asus, um, hindi siya gaming laptop, but uh, it has the specs for it. Hindi nga lang ganun kaganda yung body, yun yung compromises for that. And it's less than 50,000 pesos. So, uh, soon, i-review natin yan. Pero right now, meron tayo dito is the Logitech G304. So, ano nga ba yung meron kay Logitech G304? So first comes first is the box. This is the box of the G304, as you can see here, and it has the Logitech branding and it's kind of have that feeling for Apple boxes, yung kanilang naka embrace or yung hindi talaga siya printed don sa box na design. So it has a lightning, it has a light speed logo in the upper right. Um, below serial number, technical specs. So we have the sensor, which is the hero sensor in Logitech. We have a DPI from 200 to 12,000. Um, zero smoothing, max acceleration is 40. Uh, max speed is 400 IPS. What's in the box? So in the box, you can expect, aside from the mouse itself, is this one. This is just an extension cord, female USB to male, so I th it's a very good thing that kahit papan ay nagbigay sila ng kanto, which is typically I don't think na kailangan naman ng kapag malikas ng wireless mouse, but it has a good texture, makapal yung wire, and if you open up more so box. Um, the mouse mismo. Then we have the Logitech logo brochure, uh, advertising their whole system, their whole setup, and Logitech. So, advertisement brochure. We have a setup guide for the mouse itself, safety compliance, and warranty information. The other one is. Japanese and the other one is in English. Am I right? Japanese, Chinese, Japanese, Chinese, Indonesian, and English. The last thing is the Logitech sticker. And aside from everything that's in there, meron tayong lalagyan dito, which is nakalagay yung battery. So, yeah. So, talking about sa mouse mismo. So, here's the full physical aspects of yung mouse. We have two customizable buttons here. We have one more button here. That one. We have the left and right. We have the scroll wheel. Then we have a LED. And that's it. Uh, so the lower part, we have the Logitech logo, unit, G304. And we have the hero sensor. Then these are just typical uh, padding para sa mouse. And sa right side, we have nothing aside from a good classy finish of a plastic. How to remove or add the battery is through this one. So you move this compartment upward kung nakaganto position or downward kung nakaganto position but i i recommend always na kapag bumukas ka ng ganito is upward especially kung mabilis siyang mag-open like this one if you're downward and nabitawan niyo siya and gas gas na agad yan so, so we have a bluetooth receiver then this battery is actually a Duracell battery it's a well built and Sikat na natak na si Duracell. So, uh, we have nothing else sa loob. It's just um, some instructions how to put the battery in. So, 
put it in, and we remove the receiver, put it in the laptop, and we put it back. And there, you're ready to use the mouse na. Ngayon naman is regarding dito sa app. So yung app na binigay nila, or i-download niya siya, so punta lang kayo sa Logitech website, ay Logitech G Hub. So sa Logitech G Hub, upon installing, madetect na niya agad kung ano yung unit niyo, which is G304. And clicking it, and you will go here. So meron kayong dalawang profile, which is default and G shift. So these ones, uh, this is just some assignments. Kapag gamit niyo yung G-Hub, you can assign different things. Um, command, keys, action, even macros for your um, PC. Then system is where you assign the mouse buttons. So, upon assigning something that you will need to do or kung bago kayo sa Logitech is drag and drop to. So you need to drag this one, so you can see, but you should drag and then it will drop your shackles and you should assign. So I apparently, set ko lang yung sa akin. So set ko lang yung sa akin sa default setting, DPI lang yung binago ko, ng konti lang naman. So how to set the DPI, so we go here in sensitivity, and here are the sensitivities. So I put it into 600, 1000, 200, and 3500. Why? So I have here, I have this for for editing um, in Photoshop in Lightroom and I have this for multitasking the 1000 and I have the 2000 for all arounder so in sm one small switch of a hand I can move the lower I can move the upper applications to lower part left to right or to left and then 3200 is something for a fast face like I need to put here and put here. So that's it. So I usually put it in 2000, 19 or 2100. Something I like. There. Um, do you have anything else for this? No, these are just uh, advertisement. Uh, you don't need to create the Logitech account. So, kung mouse lang naman naman kayo, I think hindi na kailangan. And the G Hub. So, you can off this one. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Yun yung app yung Logitech G Hub for the first uh, five hours using this mouse. Um, I would prefer getting it um, through Lazada, which is around 200 pesos less, or uh, get it sa uh, sale ng mga store. So I bought mine from Data Blitz. Yeah. Um, some downsides or something na gusto ko sana nakita at that price point. Well, first is Bluetooth. So, this doesn't have Bluetooth. Bakit? Ba't kailangan ng Bluetooth dongle? So, eh, ba't kailangan ng Bluetooth? Meron naman dongle. So, may mga tao kasi na meron PC, may mga Windows PC, and meron din naman MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. And that uses Bluetooth, so it can easily be used kung meron Bluetooth to sa other system. So, um, even one LED sa siguro for the Logitech logo here. So, kahit isa lang sana. <laughs> Just to see na nag-blow up. Kahit yung mismong color lang nila which is itong blue na to. Uh, I think it will be best or one of the best selling mouse kung ganun sana. Um, konting konting tweak na lang sana and I think they could have done something great with this mouse. The, the clickiness. So this is not advertised for a silent mouse. And here it is. So the first one is, uh, the first three I think is the left and then the next three is the right. And sobrang ingay. As you can see from this, this is 50 millimeter camera. Yeah, so may ingay. It hits the green bar sa camera ko. The clickiness no middle button. Yun sana yung clickiness no left and right. Meaning yung sound nito. So that's the button in the scroll wheel. Yung third button. That scroll wheel, yung gitna. Sobrang 
ganda ng pagkaklikness. It sounds mahal, high price na yung sounds niya. It scrolls good. Ito lang talaga left and right. Although, hindi naman, meron naman sila mga ina-advertise na low noise or silent mouse. And so far, I think this is good starting if you're looking for a uh, starting mouse or first mouse nyo. Um, aside from the G102, which is budget, 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 budget mouse ni Logitech, that's around 900 sa Lazada and 1,100 sa malls. That is a wired mouse. Ito naman is Bluetooth nga. I think it's a good thing na we, we go um, wireless. Kung may option naman kayo with connectivity, kung maganda naman yung feedback sa mouse na to. So I think this one suits my needs right now. And this is, I think, best for editing. So we have customizable buttons naman kahit pa paano. Yun lang muna. And I think this is good uh, mouse to buy. Siguro for sale. Not for the price right now. Sale or Lazada price. I think you should buy this one. Yun lang naman. And thank you guys. Panunood.